Claudia, can you just, you know, one of the questions we get is like, how can mediation help me? And um, in particular, like if we're really not getting along, is mediation an option for us? Okay. So the thing about mediation is it's private and confidential. So I want you to imagine that you go to the courthouse and you bring your dirty laundry and you air it all up there. That's kind of, sometimes that happens. Whereas it's mediation is the opposite of that. It's private, it's confidential. There aren't people walking into the courthouse who can hear everything that's happening. Um, so that's what I really, really like about it. Your business stays your business. And that is very, very important. What was the other question you asked me, Aaron? It just left my mind. Sorry, Aaron. Rookie mistake. I was muted. Uh, <laughs> whether, whether or not, like, it's still an option if you have, like, oh, yeah. conflict. Okay. If you didn't have any conflict, you wouldn't need the mediator at all. So the most important thing is that you guys are choosing to work together to solve this this divorce to get things solved as amicably as possible. So that also leaves the uh, option that things aren't always going to be amicable. That's okay. The mediators totally expect that. We are trained in how to deal with conflict. So as long as the both of you come and you negotiate, um, you make a good faith effort to negotiate and to be honest, it's okay. And a lot of times that conflict, uh, it, it, it boils down, it, 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 it simmers out it goes away, it lessens. So the more you talk, things actually become easier. So mediation can help you because it also can give you a different perspective on why is my spouse so difficult? One of the things that you will discover in mediation is most likely you understand their underlying reasons of why they're quote unquote difficult and what they really want. And that's, I love when that happens because it's like these little light bulb moments and people are like, well, that's what you want and that's why you want it oh okay we can work with this now it, it stops becoming so personal and even if you 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 have children who are grown so we might not be negotiating a parenting plan hopefully one day there'll be a wedding that you'll need to attend to and there's going to be babies that are born so you still want to have some sort of good relationship with your ex and and that's one of the ways that that's a great benefit of mediation I, I absolutely agree. And one of the big reasons why I wanted to get out of practicing law day in and day out, because um, lawyers are trained to win and sometimes they win, but there's a lot of factors at play, including how the judge feels that particular day or what biases they may have towards your clients and um, what lawyers are not trained to do and where they don't unfortunately receive a lot of value for is to understand your goals and needs and um, most of the time, like help you to come to a resolution. So can I add um, one more thing to that, Erin? Absolutely. Yep. One, of the, one of the things about family mediation that's unique is that it doesn't all happen in one day. It's not like you just show up to court and that's your day in court, or it's a corporate mm -hmm. mediation where you're going to be there 12 hours. We schedule like an hour and then we're done for that day. And you, so you have these bite-sized bits of time where you can digest the information. And that, that mm. is huge for family mediation because you're not just dividing money, you're dividing lives and you need time to process that information. Awesome. I wanted to share that you don't have to have a mediator do your entire divorce. Mm -hmm. If you've got things settled for the most part, but you just can't agree on one or two issues, Come to mediation for that. You can totally do that. So consider that.